Welcome everybody. My name is Shofura Akhtar and I am a student of Early Learning and Child Care Certificate Program at Lakeland College. I strongly believe that every child deserves to learn and grow in a safe, enjoyable and nurturing environment. So my presentation title is Strategies for Developing a Responsive Learning Environment for Young Children. First of all, I would like to give you a brief idea about early learning environment. The early learning environment is the mixture of spaces and activities in which young children grow and learn. In early learning, the environment is often considered as a third teacher, which is after parents and educators, because it helps to develop children's physical, social, language, and cognitive skills to reach their full potential. At early growth stages, children generally learn through play and exploration. Therefore, they need a stimulating environment with lots of different activities. For example, here you can see an educator is playing together with children. And another stage are playing two children and uh, they are chatting and playing. It can help to promote language and social skill. The next group is playing with blocks. And finally, a large group is playing with uh, painting and it can help to improve their creativity. Overall, different types of activities are important parts of an effective learning environment. The effective learning environment provides opportunities to observe things, respond to voice, listen to sounds, and make sounds. Children can also explore new things, ask questions, do exper experiments with materials, and participate in activities and stimulate all senses such as touch, taste, smell, vision, and hearing. At daycare center, children can learn different aspects such as learning about themselves and surroundings like place, and environment. They can improve their language and communication skills by interacting with peers and educators. Their growth and fine motor skills could be developed through play and other activities. Through imaginative play and exploration activities, they are problem solving skills and creativity could be increased. They can learn numeracy, literacy and art at early, child, early age. As an educator, it is our responsibility to ensure an effective learning environment. 
we can show interest in children activities and respond to their efforts we can encourage children to take turns we should actively participate in playing rhyming shape and number game together however we should use simple language and not to provide much information at a time so that they can easily understand our instruction actually i don't want to see this kind of face my work place as an educator it is our responsibility to model children behavior to handle stress or deal with losing games while playing in a group to create an effective learning environment we should consider two things one the developmental milestones and then the children's interest for example a preschooler can catch balls prefers social play can memorize songs and rhymes and names color and number therefore we have to create environment and develop activities based on their developmental milestones according to my understanding major components of effective learning environment includes materials opportunities and activities materials are selected for fun to promote learning through play and to increase activity it may include sand building blocks art supplies books writing materials scientific and mathematical materials household items learning environment provides opportunities for positive and rich communication and socialization finally activities provides a wide variety of experience such as indoor and outdoor activities group work community activities cultural celebration and playful exploration and discovery with thoughtful planning parents and caregivers can maximize the learning potential in an environment the right objects or materials combined with a flexible and open atmosphere will encourage children to explore new methods of problem solving and will promote creativity in conclusion i would like to say that comfortable physical setup age appropriate activities ideas and curriculum and qualified educators can maximize children learning
that's all about my presentation thank you very much for your attention if you have any question i i am happy to answer it now